What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DAD TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, you know I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box below. Also, make sure you go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there. And when you subscribe, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, y'all, this case comes out of Florida. And shout out to uh, Facebook friend Timothy who tagged me on this. It's ironic that the time that he tagged me on this story, I was already reading the story. So I knew I had to do the story. And I'm glad that I did. I'm doing the story because when I started doing my research, I found out that one of my relatives was a person who was also confronted in a sexual manner by the pastor and many members at the West Coast Church years ago. So you know I had to do this story. So however this commentary it goes i'm taking it personal at this point a former bishop who founded the west coast center for human development in sarasota florida was arrested thursday and charged with sexual assault on a child under 12 years of age sarasota police began investigating the 72 year old bishop henry lee porter senior in october of 2019 for abuse dating back to the 1990s oh my god they're going back decades with this at least three people have come forward and alleged that Bishop Porter sexually abused them when they were boys. My God. The alleged victims told detectives that the abuse primarily happened at the West Coast Center on North Washington Boulevard in Bishop Porter's office and also in Bishop Porter's home on 47th Street. Detectives say in addition to these victims, they spoke with eight other victims, all male, who say they were sexually abused by Porter as well. Take a breath. In a probable cause affidavit filed in Porter's arrest, Sarasota police noted two prior investigations into Porter, once in 1990 and a second time between 2001 and 2002 after an anonymous letter identified 40 alleged victims. So this is decades of abuse that the church has been hiding. And y'all, yeah, man, look at here. Police say in 2000, between 2001 and 2002, investigation, 20 of the alleged victims provided statements to law enforcement outlining their alleged sexual abuse that occurred at the West Coast Center on a mission trip across the country and also on church-sponsored trips. Police say the statute of limitation prevented charges from being filed. So let me get this straight. The members sat up there for decades and heard stories of abuse that was going on in Sarasota at this particular church with this one bishop who is all has tied to many people in the community, many prominent people in the community. And it took one boy to do a Facebook live to really get this story going. Oh, y'all know I got a lot to say. I'm going to let you watch this video and I will be back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, welcome back into ABC 7 at 5. Detectives say 72-year-old Henry Potter, excuse me, Henry Porter, has been sexually abusing children at the West Coast Center for Human Development for decades. ABC 7's Taylor Torgano has the details. Uh, the bond will remain no bond until the Arthur hearing is scheduled. Bishop Henry Porter appeared sad as a judge denied his bond in court this afternoon, despite pleas from his attorney. Bishop Porter is a prominent member of this community, has been for decades. Uh, he vigorously denies the allegations against him. Yet Sarasota police document numerous interviews with victims who say they were sexually abused by Porter for years. This particular investigation began when one of the accusers posted a video on Facebook that's now been shared over 100 times. He says Porter began sexually abusing him when he was 15 years old. The alleged abuse included fondling and masturbation, oral and anal sex, often inside the inner office of the West Coast Center. Mr. Porter has been sexually abusing children for decades. Uh, it, it spans multiple generations and as far as we can tell started in the 1970s. This isn't the first time the bishop has been investigated for sexual abuse. The Sarasota Police Department first looked into this in 1990, then again in 2001. In that investigation, detectives say a letter was obtained by SPD that identified 40 people who were allegedly abused by Henry Porter. More than 20 of them provided statements of the alleged abuse to police during those investigations. But Porter was not arrested then because police say all incidents were outside of the statute of limitations. 
And that was our Taylor Torgano reporting for us. All right, y'all, let's go in. Now, I know some of you all were laughing at the news reporter when he referred to Bishop Porter as uh, Harry uh, Potter, I think he said. But when I started looking into uh, Bishop Porter's life, I said, maybe the news reporter started to think what I was thinking. Because you know Harry Potter, he is a wizard. And that whole mystical magic stuff that they do on Harry Potter, that's what Bishop Porter was doing a lot of times in his ministry because he was big on this healing stuff and calling people out of the audience and telling them there's arthritis in somebody's leg and somebody has you know pain in their back and someone has a headache and somebody's having heart problems. Somebody is having a pain in their chest. I watched a couple of videos like that and I also heard stories from people and I'm going to direct y'all to that uh, young man's Facebook so you all could see it too on people who talked about how they were so mesmerized by the healing ministry and the music and how many people in the audience and the congregation they were mesmerized by the healing ministry that they did not pay attention to the victims who had went to the police. They did not pay attention to the so-called call at that time what they thought was rumors that were going around the church for decades about this bishop because they was caught up they were all caught up on this healing they were caught up on the prestige and doctor poor and all of this stuff and the choir that he ran around the united states and basically the world with they were caught up on all of that stuff that they allowed these children boys and at the end, there were girls in there too. I'm going to get to that. These saints allowed these children to be molested for decades. And you all wonder why I go hard on this stuff? You all wonder why other people go hard on this? Those who not doing it to count chase, who have a, a heart for the victims for real. Because how could you, saints, who so-called sit up in this man's church for decades in Sarasota, Florida, I'm coming for you. And no one say anything about this. And when the police, you know, the statute of limitation had already ended, so they couldn't do anything about it. But still the allegations and all that stuff was there for decades. No one investigated that. Now, what really tipped this off and made the police take a second look in at this case was when a young man on October 29th, 2019 police received notification of a video on facebook titled the art of manipulation my god my survival of molestation and this young man right here chadwick watkins now brother watkins was a member of west coast center for human development i love how they keep saying human development how you developing people when you're abusing them for decades now look here, he said that he was sexually abused as a child by Bishop. The video that he did prompted the most recent investigation that would lead to Porter's arrest. According to court documents, the victim told detectives that his first memory of sexual abuse started at age 15 and continued until he was 21. The victim said that the sexual abuse involved fondling, masturbation, oral and anal sex with the guidance from Porter. He said that the abuse occurred in Porter's office at West Coast Center for Human Development. Now, this is what got Bishop uh, Porter arrested. After Chadwick did his interview, another interview was conducted with a second victim, age 11 years old, this is recent y'all, who said she was sexually battered while under the care and keeping of Bishop Porter, with one of the batteries hap allegedly occurring in the master bedroom of Bishop Porter's home? Now, I gotta stop right here. What are you parents thinking in 2019 and beyond or in it leaving your children? I don't care. see this is what I'm saying. This is why I go so hard on this church, these church folks and this system that have y'all so trusting y'all trust everybody and think everybody that comes into church. They below. Oh, they for God. That's brother boxer. That's sister Sally. Oh, my kids can go with them. They speak in tongues. They shout. Now, come on. Let's be real. Any of us can speak in tongues at the drop of a dime. And what's happening is in these churches is many of you all, you're being mesmerized by all of this stuff and this healing and all of this stuff that this man was doing in Sarasota and that many of them do around the world to get y'all in, to draw y'all in emotionally and get you almost in a trance. 
And when you're in that trance and you're thinking, this is the man of God, this is the woman of God, they can do no wrong. Oh, I got happy here. Oh, I don't, when I go out in the world, I'm sad and depressed. But when I come into church, I can get my dance on. I can speak in tongues. I can lay out in the flow. I just feel free. I just feel free. But your children, because you all are so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good, your children are collateral damage at the hands of these pedophiles, these pimps in the pulpits, these predators in the pulpits. And you all are so blind, you still won't even see, even when the police come out with uh, the court documents telling you all that they had an investigation in 1990 and then in between 2001 and 2002. And now this stuff is coming up now. Do you think that these children are really lying? And I'm talking to your parents. Do you think your adult children who went through this at that church while y'all was jumping and shouting and oh, the bishop this and oh, I got healed by the bishop. You parents, what are y'all doing? You parents who allow your children to be in this mess. Because you all were so caught up on this man's giftings. You all were so caught up on this man calling you all out. As I watched those videos, many of the videos, you thought, oh, well, he said somebody in the church had, had back problems. And I, I had back problems. Oh, I had knee problems. I had arthritis in my knee. Oh, I had this. Let me tell you, if you think about it hard enough and have a good relationship with God, you can get your healing at your house. You ain't got to run and give everybody $100 to $1,000 for no healing. Healing, that's you being dumb that's you thinking that a man or a woman or some prophetess or prophet has the promise and you don't and it makes me upset because i heard some stuff last night from some other youtubers who uh, were talking about a, a person who's been victimized and when i heard what i heard that just got me i couldn't even sleep and then this story came up and i'm like oh god they need people just won't stop it's like this is a breeding ground for pedophiles. I'm serious that we can sit here and allow this mess to go on with our children. And the only thing we want to do is sha, 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 sha. Oh, let's have a praise break. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And fall out over the church. Shut up. Stop it now. All of that falling out stuff, that's a demonstration for you that the spirit of God touched you. Now, how are you going to use that and touch the world? What do you do when you're at home? You can't go into AT&T and fall out and speak in tongues. You can't go to your job and do all that nonsense. You got to be the light of the world. Where's the intellect of God? The intelligence of God? Where is it that you live what you say you have? Not by quoting scriptures at people. That you can control your own sex life. You want to call everybody out of everything else and you got... And you all wonder why I go so hard and you all come with them scriptures and you all think you doing something to me to scare me. Oh, Dawson, you going to hell. No, you and your grandma going before I will and your pastor will too. All this foolishness y'all keep up in the church. Oh, the world on their way to hell. No, I think y'all might go before the world. I, I do. I do. Because when we can get up here every day, not only me, look at these people on your news program. Can get up here every day and talk about people, prominent pastors. Oh, he went to he went to Harvard. He went to you know he went to Columbia. He went to Yale. Well, he on his way to hell, doing all of this to the children, and there's no discernment. Look at this bishop. He's on flyers with all these popular pastors. Let's celebrate his anniversary. Let's celebrate this and no discernment. It took Chad Watson, a a, a young man. Well, he's not young. That I mean, he's 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 older now. But it took him to come out with his story to really get this eleven-year-old to come out and more people to come out and say, "Wait a minute, this really altered our life." Yes, Chad is married. He has a wife. Because some of them were trying to go over in that page and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, this turned you out and you living a gay lifestyle." Chad, wife, and his sister-in-law jumped in that and say, "No, it didn't hurt him like that." No, he got a wife. His sister-in-law jumped, stopped that right quick. That's love. That's family right there. See, the reason some of y'all so attached to these churches and everything and they treat y'all any kind of way and you depress and ready to jump off a bridge is because you don't you need a sense of belonging. Oh, and they try to keep you away from your family. Oh, you know, the church is the only family you got. Your family don't love you. You a damn lie. My family love me. And if they don't love me, I love myself. I'm not letting nobody keep me in no cult. And that's exactly what West Coast was a cult. I don't know if it is now because his son, um, uh, Porter uh, the second has it. I don't know what's going on there now, but those members there, you all are complicit as well because you all allowed this stuff to happen. I want all of you all 
after this video to go over to Chadwick Watkins uh, Facebook page. Go over there and read all of those comments from people who knew this stuff was going on and said, I had heard rumors for years. I had heard this for years. I heard that. But mama, dad, y'all heard that stuff brother sister and y'all didn't do nothing the kids didn't mean nothing to y'all that y'all let this man go through decades of abusing these children i do not think that almost 40 something people are lying on this man for decades and then when i heard my relative say what he said i know he ain't lying now i put my life on that now i know he didn't make that stuff up you all sit there but that's my bishop, you know, he helped me when my lights was due, they, you know, they helped me, you know, I just, they helped me get my GED, now I'm going for my, I don't give a, I don't care about all that, don't play me, don't play me, don't play me, you can go get all that yourself, sometimes we giving people credit for stuff that we need to sit and do ourselves, and I got another thing to say, a lot of y'all jumped in Bishop Porter's line, a lot of you all jumped in his healing line and all that kind of stuff. Some of you all, you're healing with your body and everything that's going on with your bodies with growths and everything. A lot of that is going to be rectified. It's going to be changed when you change the way you eat. You don't need no to pay the profit is two thousand dollars to tell you what's going on with your body. Now I'm going to go and get off of this. This just makes me upset because this man and many people like him. In the church and in society, but especially in the church, these people have access to the most vulnerable of our society, the elderly, the children, people with developmental disabilities, mental disabilities, and they take advantage, some of them, not all of them, of these people. And it makes me upset because I ask myself, you know, it's other stuff I want to do on YouTube and talk about. And this year I will do that. I, I promise y'all I will do that. But why do I have such a heart for this? And you all, you tongue talking, save, sanctified, all this mess. Y'all sit back and y'all don't do nothing. Oh, we just going to pray. Oh, we just going to let God. No, 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 no. We going to let Jesus do it. Jesus did it. When he said it was finished, it's finished. You got to walk into it. I don't know what they preaching you at your church. You got to have a power and authority in the dominion down here. I don't know what you sitting back waiting on. Your children are your responsibility. That ain't the bishop's responsibility. Your child don't need to be over every saint's house or every family member's house. That's your responsibility. I sit back and ask, why am I like, for real? I know y'all uh, y'all say, Dawson, you care and all this kind of stuff. And it's sad that some of the people who try to do stuff like this, it seems like they just doing it for numbers and clout chasing. And you know, that's them. Do whatever you want to do. But I won't show my y'all out there who have a passion for this. People who have a passion for people for real. This is what some of y'all should be doing too. Don't leave me out here by myself to handle all this. Seriously. Until next time. It's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Y'all see I'm just throwing these videos out left and right at the beginning of the year. How I started is how we going to end it. So we we going we got a work to do. I see that now. And I'm grateful for both platforms and I'm grateful for you all who have subscribed, those who haven't, those who view, those who donate, whatever. I thank you. But even if you don't do none of that, take care of yourself and each other and most definitely take care of those kids. It's Dawson. Peace.